man, it's the first roster update tomorrow. It's a lot of players who I think are doing well. well who should I invest in? Who will I make the most stubs on? What is going on guys, Mills here, bringing you some fire content on the Fire Day 18 channel. In today's video, everyone, I'm going to be giving you all some pointers slash kind of predictions right now on which players are going to go up for this roster update or the first roster update of only the show 19. So I'm going to explain what that is. So basically what that is, is they basically every two weeks, they upgrade the players a little bit who are live series. So whenever they are doing well IRL, they will be upgraded in the game to a higher overall. If they're playing badly, which are the players I'm not going to recommend, I'm not even going to talk about them on, to, in today, they're going to go down. It's kind of like Inside Edge, but instead of them being upgraded for that day, like temporarily, they're upgraded permanently after, like, the roster update. So anyways, I'm going to be making my predictions for it. I'm going to be doing this every week, actually. So probably, like, in the middle of every week, or when the roster update comes, like, two days for a day before the roster update, like, this video is going to be. I'll probably be doing a, I'll always be uploading a bit on which players to invest in that are doing well, because I'm always, I'm going to be following the LB this year, like I said, I'm going to be following the LB, I'm going to be keeping track of which players y'all should invest in, so without further ado guys, let's get right into this, alright guys, so the first player I think you should invest in right now is Jose Barrios, guys, he's a 79 overall, so he's at the peak silver position, and he's probably going to get a boost. Why? He had an amazing opening day. And he played pretty well, actually, in his in that Royals game. He may have allowed three runs, but his ERA still retains very well, actually. He currently is a 1.85 ERA, I believe. Some, somewhere around there, like a 1.8 ERA so far this season. In two games, he's played really well. He's gotten a lot of strikeouts. He's been pitching well. He didn't get the win, though, for that game, so that might cost him. But so far, he's one no this year at the 1.8. 5 ERA, and 16 strikeouts, so he's having a pretty solid year, I'd say, already, but the thing is, this Raptor update's only gonna contribute to the games he played, and he played some very dominant games right there, so I think he's gonna be going up to a gold, not sure which overall, I'm gonna probably guess and say like 81 overall to be safe, guys, so I'd make sure you invest in this card right away, he might, he might be going up for a lot of stubs, guys, so make sure to invest in this guy, if you want to make those stubs, guys, because he's probably going to be going up to a gold. He's like probably the guy I would go for, man. All right, so second dude I'm going to be, I would be investing in it right now is this Tim Beckham, man. So if you guys haven't been following LB, which you probably have because you play this game, this freaking guy has been crushing it the first week of baseball, man. He's been hitting the ball well. He's been scoring home runs. He's been getting runs. He's been driving in runs. He's getting on base, man. That's why I think this guy's going to get a pretty easy upgrade. He's probably not going to go gold. That's the easy, probably obvious stuff. But he is probably going to get a good upgrade. Probably up to a silver, I'd say. Maybe like a 77 silver. Either way, I'd invest in this card right now because this guy's going to go up for the next roster update. Invest in him, guys, so you can make a bit of profit off him. So to say, when he becomes a silver, get him right now. He's hot right now in LB. He's going to be a hot commodity in the game as well. Even if he is only going to be a silver, he's going to be definitely a good card to make some good stubs off of after the roster update. So make sure to go buy this Beckham always cheap, guys. Because he ain't going to be like this for long. Alright, here's the second dude I'm going to invest in right now. Is some Met player who's been playing pretty well, Jeff McNeil. So this guy hasn't been hitting home runs, as you could probably tell from his power. You know, he's 36 power versus right, he's 4 more power versus lefties. But this guy's been playing well, right? He's been getting on base. He currently has a 400 batting average on the season right now. He has a good amount of RBIs. He's hitting the ball very well. I'd say he's going to get a very solid upgrade, if anything. Not sure where, but I think he's going to get up a little bit in silver. He's probably going to go up to a 79, I'd say, if he's going to get upgraded. Either way, he is having a very good first two weeks, I'd say, or first week in the OB. So this guy probably going to be a guy SDS is easily going to upgrade. So I recommend you guys invest in this card. He's gonna, You're going to make a bit of stubs off of him, not going to lie. Not as much as, say, like if Brios goes gold, but you're still going to make like a solid amount of stubs. He's a very good card to pick up right now. He's playing very hot, very strong, guys. I'd go pick him up while you're at it. All right, guys, here's our second player. This is, this already proves my twins bias. I'm very biased now that I'm putting this guy on my list for the, because he, I'm a twins fan, but this guy is playing well, to be truthful, man. This William Astudillo guy is a freaking guy. He's the next Bartolo, guys. He is the next, he's a little sexy right now. I'm gonna call him a little sexy. Either way, 
right now he's hitting 750 on the season this year, guys. He's hitting a 750 batting average right now with two RBIs. And he's only played four at-bats, but the thing is, this guy's probably going to go up to a silver either way. He was actually a silver at the end of MLB The Show 18. I think he should go up to silver either way because he's hitting the ball very well. He's scoring RBIs. He's playing a lot of good positions. He actually can, look at that, he can play like almost all the positions except for shortstop and obviously pitcher, but he's still having a very good year, I'd say, so far. He's definitely one of the best hitters. He actually is a 371 uh, career average, so if you count last year as well, but the point is, this guy is playing very well right now. He's definitely a very good card to pick up, I'd say. He might go up over the course of the year, so I'd say just pick him up right now, and if he does go silver in this roster update, like I said, this is only prediction, and I put this guy on my list solely because of bias, just get him, guys, all right? He's going to be a very worthy card to pick up. Just saying, man. All right, so we all going to talk about Wilson Ramos or not, because this guy is a freaking goat. I'm going to be showing you guys basically on this screen more or less, more because I don't really want to show stats, because you already know, man. This guy is a great player. He's an 81 this year, that's what I was shocked about, but then again, he did play really well at the Nationals, so he still does retain gold status. I think this guy is still going to get a very solid upgrade, though, either way. I'd say he's going to probably get a plus two bonus in points. Either way, I'd say this guy's going to be a good guard to pick up, because he's one of the only good live series catchers in the game, guys. He might get an upgrade that's maybe over J2 Romito, but... Don't count me on it. Either way, this guy is playing well, well, well right now as he has a 444 batting average this season in 18 at bats. He has four RBIs, walk only one strikeout, and he's, he's scoring, right? He's, he's scoring runs. He's playing very well right now. I think he's going to definitely be a, obviously he's gonna be a good contributor for the Mets, but overall, he's having a very solid year in my opinion. I would just pick him up while you're at it, man. This guy, he's having a good year. All I really need to say about him. It's him. It's the man himself, man. Colton Wong. This guy's been playing for the Cardinals for four years now. He's definitely, he's been a good contributor, though, for the Cardinals. He's had a very good first week, though, man. Colton Wong's having a terrific first week. I'm going to just give you a rundown of his stats right now. He's currently batting 500 right now in the OB in 18 at-bats. I know it's only the start, but either way, I'd say this guy should deserve an upgrade. He has three home runs already on the year and five games played with six RBIs two walks, nine hits, and obviously an 18 at-bats with 500 batting average. But basically, I still think this guy should get upgraded. He's probably going to be up to a 79, though. He's not going to get gold. Definitely, he's not going to be a gold this year. But I'd still pick up this guy because he is playing very hot right now. Very good card, too. He has a lot of potential, I think, to go up Colton Wong. So he's definitely going to be a very good uh, guy to invest in. He's only going for 716 stubs right now, though, so he's a bit expensive. Either way, though, if he does go up to, like, a 79, so to say, you're going to make a lot more stubs off him in the long run. So I suggest you guys go pick up this Colton Wong while you're at it. It's a very good card to pick up. Just buy him, guys. Just freaking buy him. Plain and simple. He has a 500 batting average already. You may as well get him. Next guy we're going to be talking about who deserves an upgrade is Jordan freaking Zimmerman, man. I've been following his year. I've been following it. He's been pitching really well. He actually held a perfect game till the sixth inning against the Blue Jays, man. He's been playing very well, all right? He's been playing very well this year, actually. He, only, he has a, a 0.66 ERA to start off the season in two games. Much better than Barrios, actually. He does not... He has less strikeouts, so to say. He only has, he only has given up one earned run this year. And he, he also faced the Yankees, by the way. The opponents he faced were the Blue Jays and the Yankees. The Yankees being the impressive opponent, though, because he went six innings against him. He got six strikeouts and only allowed one run. So, I'd say the Zimmerman's going to get a big upgrade, probably. If anything, I think he'll go up to a silver, maybe. Like a 75 silver. But I'd say this card's a very underrated one to invest in for this roster update. Mostly because he has been playing very well. Hopefully he gets his upgrade. If he does, y'all are going to make some stubs, right? Y'all going to be rich! So all I got to say right now about this Trevor Story. I actually have him on my team. Watch out for him, guys. I'd keep an eye on him. I wouldn't invest in him right away. Maybe not. Like, Trevor Story is a beast. Not going to lie. But I'd still keep an eye on him. Like, he's not having the best of year. But what I'm saying, or he's actually, by the way, it's only the start of the year, so I wouldn't say it's a big deal. But I'd still keep a watch on this guy. Keep a good eye on this guy. He might do pretty well this year. He's only hitting 182, though, with only a home run, two RBIs on four hits. 
So he's not having the best of years. Best uh best year really, but I'd still keep an eye on this guy because he could go up in the in the future, guys. So this is I'm not telling you to buy this card. What I am telling though you guys though is that I'd keep an eye on him because he may go up to a diamond this year. This is one of the guys who might make the push for diamond. It's very well possible. This guy has been playing very well, actually. He did play very well in 2018. I think he can do it, man. He has the potential. He has the capabilities as shown in 2018. Either way, though, just, just keep an eye on this guy. Just, just look, look, just look. All you gotta do. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. That was eight cards that you guys should invest in before this roster update, guys. Hope you all really enjoyed. Hope these investment tips did help you out, guys. I feel like these guys are going to have a good chance of going up this year. They're going to go up over the course of this year. But especially at the start, I feel like they're going to be some nice cards to invest in as they are going to probably get some good upgrades. Anyways, I'm going to conclude it here. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Tell me any players that you guys think should go up for this next roster update that are playing well right now. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video stream, everyone. Hope everyone has a great day, everyone. Peace.